For the final part of our app, we're going to add another button to our context menu, letting our user choose to be reminded to contact a particular person. This will use iOS's user notifications framework to create a local notification. And we'll conditionally include it in the context menu with a simple if check. SwiftUI is smart enough to add the context menu button if the test passes. Much more interesting is how we schedule the local notifications. Remember the first time we try this, we have to use request authorization to explicitly ask for permission to show a notification on the lock screen. But we also should be careful with subsequent times because the user can retroactively change their mind and disable these notifications. One option is to call request authorization every time we want to post a notification. And honestly, that works great. The first time it'll show an alert and all other times it'll immediately return success or failure based on the previous response. However, in the interest of completion, I want to show you a more powerful alternative. We can request the current authorization settings and use that to determine whether we should schedule a notification or request permission. The reason it's helpful to use this approach rather than just requesting permission repeatedly is that the settings object passed back to us includes properties such as alert setting to check whether we can show an alert or not. The user might have restricted this so all we can do is display a numbered badge in our icon. We're going to call get notification settings to read whether notifications are currently allowed. If they are, we'll show a notification. If they aren't, we'll request permissions. And if that can back successfully, then we'll also show a notification. Rather than repeat the code to make a notification, we'll put it inside a closure that can be called in either scenario. So start by adding this import near the top of prospectsview.swift. Import user notifications. Now add this method to the prospects view struct. Func add notification for prospect prospect. Let center equals un user notification center dot current. Let add request equals open brace starting our closure. Let content equals un mutable notification content. Content dot title equals contact prospect name. Content subtitle equals prospect email address. And content sound equals UN notification sound dot default. Then do a trigger. We'll say var date components equals date components. Date components dot hour equals nine. And let trigger equals a UN calendar notification trigger. With date matching those date components repeats false. Then let request equals a UN notification request with a random identifier, content content, trigger trigger, then center add request. And after the closure, I'll say more code to come. That puts all the code to create an alert for the current prospect into a closure, which we can then call whenever we need. Notice that I've used UN calendar notification trigger for the trigger, which lets us specify a custom date component instance. I set it to have an hour component of nine, which means it will trigger the next time 9 a.m. comes around. Now for testing purposes, I recommend you comment out that trigger code and replace it with the following code, which shows the alert five seconds from now. Let trigger equals UN time interval notification trigger, time interval five, repeats false. For the second part of that method, we're going to use get notification settings and request authorization together to make sure we only schedule notifications when allowed. This will use the add request closure we defined above because the same code can be used if we have permission already or if we ask and have been granted permission. So replace the more code to come comment with this. Center dot get notification settings, settings in. If settings dot authorization status is equal to authorized, call add request. Else center dot request authorization. For the options we'll say alert, badge and sound, then success error in, if success, add request, else print dope. That's all the code we need to schedule an alert for a particular prospect. So all that remains is to add an extra button to our context menu. Add this below the previous button. If not prospect dot is contacted, button remind me, self dot add notification for prospect. That completes the current step and completes our project too. 
try running it now and you should find you can add new prospects. Then press and hold to either mark them as contacted or to schedule a contact reminder. Good job.